Hey, it's Jason with Denworks. I got something really cool today. It's a 1941 Gram Hollywood supercharged. Really, really cool rig. Love the styling. This is actually one of the first classic cars that I saw when I was a kid. I was with my grandpa and uh, he went to a little repair shop to get a radiator fix. And they had one of these in the background and he told me all about it. He was asking about it. And it was just really cool. He was born in 1910. And this was just a really cool car to him. And, you know, the thing is, the fact that I saw one when I was so little, I was like, I don't know, seven or something like that. And we talked about it for years after. Um, they only built 1,378 of these and only 350 in its last year of 1941. So very rare car very very cool love the styling as you can tell when you look at it sorry for my shadow but when you look at it you can tell it looks very much like a cord 37 36 cord i think the 810 and 812 graham ended up but when cord went out graham ended up making a deal and uh, ended up getting the bodies and stuff and or reproducing the bodies and everything like that with another company. And so it was kind of a continuation um, of what Cord had already started. So you can read history about it on the internet. Um, but very, very cool. I mean, very unique car for the, for the time period, for sure. It's just got a cool, cool body style. And I love it. I love the suicide doors up front. It's just a neat piece, for sure. Big white walls. It's just everything you dream of. So, rare car is going to be on Bring a Trailer Auctions that you're going to see. Um, there'll be a whole bunch of photos, a whole bunch of... Uh, there'll be the video, there'll be uh, the write-up, and, um, and then I'll put a description of what we know about it as well. But we'll have it up on my lift, and you can see different things. But use all those tools for the auction. And... Um, so pictures right up, the comment section, the video, and if you want to come and see it, we would love to show it to you. Uh, we're selling this for a friend of ours. Um, he owns a vineyard out here in Oregon, not far away, and he asked us to help sell it. He did buy it on Bring a Trailer in 2019. You'll see the link in the auction as well. So uh, use that auction as tools as well so um we're gonna walk around it it's got a clear title from oregon here it's titled here and um it is sold as is no warranties express or pride or anything like that i gotta say that because we we are a dealership you can check us out on our website it's denworks d-e-n-w-e-r-k-s so i'll just do a little walk around uh maybe not talk as much maybe not i don't know i talk a lot but anyways i just want to show you what it is and in general so you can get a good idea but very very cool car and very good condition obviously i love how the fenders swoop down it's very cool how the fenders swoop down like that it's just really really neat you can see very bubbly fenders and stuff like that. I love the headlights as well. You can see the dome glass. I've got, you can hear a truck. It's Mrs. D. She's coming up in her F-150. Very cool. I like that truck. Hey, how are you? doing the video on the Auburn. Oh, I lied. <laughs> yeah, I went to 4-H, but I really went to church. <laughs> That's right. Okay. You'll see that on Bring a Trailer as well. That's a really nice truck. You can see the fender is in nice shape. No rust or anything, no rust bubbles or anything on it. 
at all. You can see the Goodyear tires. They're 6.5 by 16s, trim rings, and they look really good. Let's take a look here on the nose. There is one little chip. I will touch that up, by the way. One little chip right there. I'm not gonna spot paint, I'm just gonna use a little paintbrush and just touch it up so you can see that. There's a little tiny hairline crack in the paint right there, a little crack in the grill. And I'm gonna show you as much as I can. I won't catch everything, but I just wanna show you the condition of it overall. Though it's, it's really nice. You can see this little welting just out just a tiny bit right there. I don't know if you call that a welting. It's actually kind of like a body bead. It's kind of a gasket in between the fender. Take a look at the fender here. Looks really good. This car is bright white. By the way, the, the sun's kind of going down, so it's kind of giving it a, a little bit of a hue. Take a look at the hood. This does also have overdrive as well, which is cool. Take a look at the side profile again. These little vents do open and close. You grab them underneath the dash. Let's a lot of air in. Take a look around the windshield. You can see a little right there on that wing window. A little chip right there along the door. A couple little ones. Bottom of the fenders look nice. A little chip right there. They've been touched up in the past. But the rockers look good. I like these little guards. Little tiny blister right there. Very tiny. Take a look at the tire. Doors open and close, real nice. You'll see a little bit of a, you can see that little gap right there. Little ding down there in the bottom of the fender. Roof line's really nice. No dents or anything like that. Gutters look good. No bubbling inside here. But the roof's very nice. Paint's very nice on it as well. We'll take a look back here. Chrome is in good condition. I don't know if there's supposed to be a little emblem or something right there. Across this panel looks really good. Brake lights, tail lights work. It doesn't have turn signals. I like the split window. There's a little gap you can see right here. You can see it in this fender here too, see that? I don't know if that just needs to be aligned better. It looks correct, but I just noticed that. Take a look at this fender here on this side. Very nice fender. Take a look at the doors. There's a little, little paint cracking right there. The rest of the gutter looks in good shape across the rockers again really nice it does have a radio that that actually works so hopefully that gives you a good look of the exterior i'll take a look at the interior in a minute and take a peek underneath the hood hey mrs d and i are out in the uh graham hollywood what do you think? I, this car is awesome. 
I'm thinking we're going to Hollywood. Yeah, it's really, really it is a really fun cool. car to drive. Little three speed on the column. Shifts nice. Yep. No grinding or anything like that. You can see the gauges are working. Let's see here. Clock doesn't work. Now, here's the temperature gauge, but the oil gauge, it does work, but it it went up and got stuck up in there. I'll try to get it down, but um, it's done that a couple times now, so that's gonna be what it's gonna be, but we'll try to look at it. The radio, as I talking, was talking before, I never did hear it uh, come on. I've heard it before, but I'll check a fuse on that, but for right now, we're just gonna call it in opt, and um, there's your, Overdrive there, bunch of honk the horn. I like that. I, that's great. Yeah, if you look underneath the hood, there's two big horns under. It's really cool. The wipers, as I mentioned before, the guy that had a pre, the previous to my friend, the solar bring a trailer, he had had those and was going to rebuild them at some point, but getting kits and stuff like that, and he's like, I'm not going to mess with this, so he didn't. And here you can hear a little bit of wind noise. Plus, he's got a window down, but it's really not coming from that. Um, the wing windows leak just a little bit, but overall, really, really fun to drive. And much put the brakes on real fast, and no shaking, no wheel pull. Actually, stops nice and straight. So pretty impressive for this age of car. So, anyways, we'll uh, cruise around, and uh, she'll put it back in first, and we'll take off. Kind of lift off, I guess. That's right. Okay. Oh, you're in third. Yes. <laughs> Here we go. There we go. Much more fun than driving a Honda, I'll tell you that. Oh, yeah, for sure. gonna take a look at the interior real fast again it's got these really cool suicide doors very nice you can see the interior the gentleman that previous to my friend that owned it spent from what I read 15,000 on the interior and it looks really nice it's in great condition you can see the seat I've been driving it around, so I, I didn't get some of these little flecks. Sorry about that. But the seat's in really good shape. Carpet's really nice as well. I love the instrument cluster on it. I'll give another view from the back seat, but steering wheel's really cool. A couple little cracks along the edges. You can see that. Little glove boxes. Love that speaker. Headliner's really nice. That dome light works as well. I'll show you on the other side. You can see there's a little button right there. But again, really nice, nice interior. You can see the rocker area in great shape inside the door jam. Just look up around here. This wing window. I wouldn't pull on it. What happens is people get in these and they shut the door. You're supposed to use that. Or maybe a handle over here and they grab this out of convenience and it just wears it out. You'll hear a little bit of wind noise from that. Take a look at this side. Windows are down right now. They, they do roll up. You can see that. Look around the door edge. You can see inside the jam here. You can see here. It's actually wood. It's a little wood edge that this nails to. You can see it's just come loose just a little bit. Like a little handle, ashtray. Doesn't smell like smoking away inside, by the way. Nice, nice seat. Look at the headliner. 
again up here on this side. Very nice interior. Take you to the trunk real fast. It does have a spare. You can see here with big white wall. No rust underneath here. That all looks good. I'll take you to the other side real fast. Yeah, nice, nice clean interior. And I'll show you that. That light. If I miss anything, let me know. It's hard to, if you've never done this before, it, and I've done it a lot of times, it's hard to get every single inch of a car. And sometimes I don't say something, I run over it on accident. A lot of things to look at. I always want to try to grab it right here. It's so funny to open the door. You can take a look at the interior. On this side, again, seat is really nice. And I'll show you that light. You just hit this button. Oh, you can see it right there. Oh, and I was going to show you the dash. Put in the back seat. There you go. Kind of has a nice look. I just knew, knew how to design things back in the 30s and, and 40s. It's really, really cool. So hopefully that helps you with the interior. Um, and just ask questions if you need it. And there you go. Oh, let me look at this. This one's a little better. That one's a little better. But... If you got questions let me know and i might not know all the answers but i'm surely glad to help you hey we're going to take a look at the uh engine real fast pretty cool how this opens i wish new cars did this you just pull this lever i'll have to do it with kind had a one hand but if you pull that lever two hands is easier but then there's a little right there you just push that forward and then there's a little prop rod in the center. Again, much easier when you're not holding the camera. But prop rod holds it up there, and there you go. It's a 218 gram engine. Very, very cool. Horsepower is 124 or 125. I've read two different things. Without the horse or the uh the um supercharger on it, it's uh 95 horse. But very clean underneath here. I love how stylish they were back in the day. I mean, just look at the, the spark plug wires. Just all lined up there nice. Oil filter housing there. I don't know if these all came with that, but that's a lot of time an option on older cars. We take it for granted today. Got the horns back there. They do work. They're cool looking. You can see the supercharger. It says supercharger on it. And you can also see it says Graham right here. Some engine numbers back there in the corner. This is a really cool, cool engine compartment overall. But it's a straight six, 218. Also, I want to show you just some of the inner parts. You can see. A little crack right there, little paint chips and stuff in the hood. Pretty common on an old car like this. You can see some more. Take a look underneath the hood or the hood here. Very clean. And here you can see that what I was showing you earlier on the inside. Cow looks really good up there. Love the uh, air cleaner as well. So pretty cool radiator. Look at all the honeycomb. It's just cool styling. I'll go ahead and uh, start it for you real fast. Hop in here. It's pretty cool how this starts. You've got a kick button down there. You're gonna hit that, 
turn the key on. Then also I'll show you these little, there's a little lever that lets these, those vents down. There's this one. So I'll go ahead and shut that. You can hear that, that little buzz. That's a fuel pump. And I got it in neutral horn. And let's hit the gas once and fire it away. We'll take a look at the gauges. Gas gauge works. This amp gauge, you can see, oh, there we go. When you're driving it, it goes down towards the 30. Odometer, speedometer works. Radio works. Clock is not working. And you can see oil pressure if I speed it up. It raises. This is your headlight control. This here is your cigarette lighter, which is not working. I talked to the previous owner in Texas and uh, he had those wipers out and elected not to rebuild them. It was gonna take a little bit of work, but he's like, I live in Texas and I'm really probably not gonna be driving this in the rain, which I kind of agreed with him. So, and then the radio clicks on. I don't know if I'll pick up a station here, but it warms. You gotta let it warm up. And uh, we'll come back to it in a minute. This is the heater control, which is not working. So we'll take a look inside the engine again with it running. Very, very smooth. Very nice. Gonna hit the throttle here. Sounds like a little sewing machine. So overall, mechanically, it seems to be in pretty good shape. And uh, runs real nice. So we'll go ahead and uh, let me see if that radio came on for you. The dash lights don't come on. I don't hear it yet, but I have heard it. And uh, in the other guy's video, I heard it in there as well, but we don't even have stations out here, to tell you the truth. And uh, so, but I, I heard it before. So anyways, I'll turn it off and uh, we'll show you some more stuff on it. I'll give you an update on the radio if I hear it, hear it going again, but uh, if I catch a station, but anyways, Thanks for taking a peek in here.